peace, peace, family. So I'm back with another one, you know what I'm saying? So today what I want to do is I want to talk to my chosen ones and targeted individuals about trusting your process and not being afraid to ask for help. So, like, I know for me being younger and being in classrooms and just growing up in a cult, like, households, like, asking for help was, like, something that you just felt like you wasn't supposed to do even at a young age you just always felt like and i know i always felt like i was supposed to just figure shit out like i don't know how that was supposed to work i guess just with experiences but like i remember it used to be times in school and in class and things where the teacher would like try to call us out to kind of like talk or discuss some things on some assignments or whatever she talking about or he talking about it going over. And then they'll, they'll, the words behind it'll be, okay, so I'm gonna give you guys this assignment. Don't be afraid to, you know, raise your hand or ask for help. But even then, when you think about it being younger than in schools, it's like nobody really wanted to raise their hand. You know, only the people that raised their hand for help or that wanted to give the answers was the people that was like, really involved with the school i know a lot of us chosen and target ones we went through the schooling process but we wasn't really as involved in it as a lot of some of our other peers and people were um but just getting older and ascending through all of that and like when you start reaching that ascension space and you realize like a lot of people are disappearing and you're starting to feel a little bit more isolated i know for me I'm cool with being in my own space. I know how to vibe in my own space. I can create my own vibe. You know what I'm saying? To me, I am the vibe. But I always understood, like, even when I was starting to ascend and I'm moving into my own space and not being around many other people, I was only not being around other people because they was not on my frequency or trying to go where I was going. My overall point, I love people. I love being around people. I love engaging with people. I am a being having human experience. It's kind of like ants. This is what we do. So I would never be ignorant to the fact and be like, oh, yeah, I don't like being around people or I don't I don't deal with people and all that kind of shit. Because for me, when I am engaging and when I used to be engaging like on a low frequency just not being aware i love vibing with people you know what i'm saying i love the energy that i bring to give to people and i love the energy that i can receive i love being able to do things with people but when i started getting into this place of growing and ascending i had to get more comfortable and trust in my process and trust in my own decision making and that also came with not being able or uh, let me rephrase that that also comes with being able to ask for help not being afraid to ask for help not being ashamed to ask for help you know what i'm saying i don't know why help is looked down upon but to me that's the same thing as sharing knowledge and information we all helping and building and growing but in today's society, it's so demonic and everybody that runs and works with that witchy shit, you know, they all run in secrecy. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'll tell you what I'm about to do and I dare you to stop me. You know what I'm saying? That's the kind of being that I am. But I understood as I started sending, you know, even though I do a lot of things in my own space and, and by myself, I'm still not afraid to ask for help. You know what I'm saying? Like... If I'm in a space to where I'm a male, I have my daughter from week to week, right? So I'm not always in the co the the, co uh, the kitchen cooking, even though I know how to cook. I was a chef, head chef running a restaurant for like four years before all this stuff happened where they had to vomit us. Um, but I know how to do these things. But if I got a friend or associate of mine that, you know, that is willing to bring me a plate or to fix some food or to do something on that frame that's fucking help because for me i'm i'm too busy focused on a million other things so usually even for me 
having to fix myself food is like a process for me so that's one step that i don't have to think about when those occasions do happen you know what i'm saying and that's a form of help that takes me out of that mind frame of thinking uh oh, i gotta figure out what i'm gonna eat or i gotta get something in my stomach or in my belly i gotta get something on my body and my system you know what i'm saying that that knocks that whole vibe down just with that little simplicity act of help you know what i'm saying and I'm very appreciative of all acts and small things that people do do for me when they do it. But I'm also a person that's not afraid to ask for help because for a lot of us targeted individuals and chosen ones, it's like we've been told no and pushed to the back burner so many fucking times. You think I care if you really tell me no? Like, in my mind, I might as well go ahead and ask because... I've already heard no so many times that I'm assuming you're going to say no. So it'll be a surprise if you say yes. You know what I'm saying? So that also comes with learning to trust your process. You know what I'm saying? Trust your decision making. Trust your judgment. We uh, it's, it's hard to get information and input from people around you that's not moving the way you're moving or going like moving up to these higher frequencies i don't like to say going where you're going because we all got different paths but we all are all in the spiritual war and we all fight this battle with the creator you know what i'm saying so you have to become a lot more trusting in your own process for me i already understood i'm used to motherfuckers saying no i'm used to people turning their backs or doing weird witchy shit so now that i'm in a comfortable space where i am completely self-aware and comfortable in my being if I got to ask for help or reach out for help, I, uh, trust me, it's not the end of the world. It's not the way it used to be when I was trying to figure all of this shit out. And it's like, you got to muster up all this energy and strength to ask somebody close to you, a uh, parent or relative or friend or anybody for some assistance. You know what I'm saying? Now I already understand where everybody stands. That's why it comes down to like being able to label and identify and i had did a video on that as well too but once you're able to identify you already know what you're going to get so anything that i would have that would be like a negative thought that will formulate for me thinking or asking about help it all gets dismissed right away because i already know that i am targeted because i'm chosen so i expect everything to be against the grain I would never expect to apply for a loan and to get it on my first time because that's not how my process works. That's not how our process works. You have other beings who can come out here and apply for a loan and they get it on the first try. I didn't even get my YouTube monetized on the first try. It was a whole process. They denied me about three times and I was well over my number count, subscriber count, everything that they needed. And I still was being denied, but I already understand that's my process. That's our process. You know what I'm saying? So we always gonna have to double back, double step, double check. We gonna always have to double everything that the next being that's moving with the witchy shit is doing. You know what I'm saying? So that's why you shouldn't feel bad or feel guilty when you have to ask for help. They've been telling us no forever. They've been telling us no forever. So it's not no surprise when they be like, oh no, I can't do it. Or if they don't answer their phone or if they give some runaround excuse, you know what I'm saying? I'm beyond and past all of that shit. If I'm reaching out and I'm asking for subtle help, big help, any kind of help, you know what I'm saying? And you don't have nothing to offer. Cool. It's not the end of the world. I already understand where these beings are placed at. So it's not like, oh, I hate them for the rest of my life because they couldn't help. No, we've already identified and placed these people. But what happens is when you're reaching out for somebody or you're trying to get yourself in a place of being able to ask for help not being afraid of asking for help you know what i'm saying it kind of that witchy shit it, it kind of turns you away from it so that's where we have to get better at formulating our own inner strength and understanding they've been telling us no our whole life you know what i'm saying even when you as a baby they was fucking telling you no by neglecting you by ignoring you by doing all this other witchy shit that they've been doing. So if they don't recognize what you got going on, cool. But that's not their place and they don't have to. But if we ask for help, 
we're coming to you directly you know what i'm saying whether it's hey i need one quarter or hey i need somebody to look at something for two seconds it could be minor don't always have to be huge you know what i'm saying but get over these tactics of you know just anything that has to do with fear we got to start crumbling that shit piece by piece piece by piece we have to start crumbling that shit I am like super ecstatic about the beings that have been growing and ascending and getting to that space and place to where they are reaching for help. And I see y'all and that's a lot of love and I'm definitely always sending that energy right back to y'all if I'm not communicating with y'all physically. And I'm sending it to y'all spiritually. Yeah, I just gotta know that I'm sending it to y'all spiritually. You know what I'm saying? This is what I'm always doing. This is gonna always continuously be the process. You know what I'm saying? So. Y'all just tapping everything down below. I ain't want to run it up too long. Peace to the kings and queens.